What is going on guys? Team Ace of 22 here. I'm back with a brand new um, tutorial for first person shooter series that I've been doing in Unreal Engine 4. So today we're going to be adding a muzzle flash to our gun and we're also going to be changing our bullet effect so then it looks more realistic. So first of all what we want to do is just open up our first person character so just hit open blueprint right there and then what we want to do is when this happens when the montage plays and stuff when it says play sound at location drag this out and then um, and then you want to say spawn emitter at location so there we go got that in the location will be if we go into the viewport and we click this the sphere so then we'll just click this and drag then get world rotation I drag this out a little bit more then get world location and then the emitter we're going to be using is just scroll down a little bit and you'll find it or you can type in muzzle flash one or whatever so there's that so now when we shoot it's a little bit big I would say we'll do muzzle flash one and then let's put the scale to something like 0.6 for every thing on X, Y, and Z. Hit compile and save. It's not the greatest muzzle flash, but it's not terrible, so, so that's pretty good. So there's that. Now we just have to change what the bullet looks like. So go into the first person blueprints and then go to the projectile and select this and you want to delete this and then add component um, you want a particle system then the template will be um, will be missile trail 2 so just scale that down a little bit Compile and save. So then now when we fire. So we have like a bullet basically. But then the only thing is it's bouncing around. We don't want our bullets to be bouncing around and stuff like that. If it was a grenade or something, then we'd want it to bounce around. But we don't want it to bounce. So then what we want to do is go into here. And then in the event graph okay so right here it says event hit if it is simulating physics then it um then it will destroy actor but then go and hit destroy actor here too hit compile and save so now when we shoot a wall the bullet will disappear Now, these bullets are arcing a lot, and we probably don't want that, so go into the first person projectile, and then select the projectile movement component, and set the initial speed to something like 5,000. Then hit compile and save. Now, okay, so I kind of want like a little explosion or something when it hits the wall so when you go into the content go into the VFX toolkit go into particle systems so then we just want to look around for like oh here we go we have a missile explosion so just like that so there's that we can see what else is here 
think that'll be fine. The missile explosion. So then go into the first person projectile and then right before destroy actor, say spawn emitter at location. Okay, let's drag this down. Drag this out. There we go. And the location will be where our collision component is. So then drag out the collision component, get world location, and just drag that into there. So then just copy this right here, then paste it right there, then just plug it into this. There we go. And then look up the missile explosion. That's why it's not coming up. There. So now, that's a little big. I feel like all of these are a little bit big. So let's set this to something like 0.5. Compile and save. So now, that's pretty good. So, that works on everything. So, I think that's pretty good. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see more tutorials, just like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Teamy Step 22 out.